Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will talk about planar mill. In planar mill, we use just curves or phases to create tool paths, to create boundaries. Uh, this uh, operation gives you uh, very much freedom when creating tool paths. So, uh, as aviation or defense industry that uses uh, prismatic parts to machine uh, loves this uh, operation. Okay, let's create our tool pads. Specify part boundaries. You can use face or curves. Uh, when you use the closed boundary, you will choose closed. And uh, when you machine the inside, you will choose inside. And when you will machine the outside, you will choose outside. Okay, let's choose our curves. Okay. Uh, there is there is a gap, but it automatically closes it. Plane specify, and that's one inch upper. Zigzag. Specify floor, and we choose the floor. Okay, and we click generate. Uh, unlike the face milling operations, the tool paths are created on to the uh, boundary. Uh, the on means uh, this will not uh, exceed uh, the boundaries. To use it like uh, face milling we choose member one and change it to on on and on okay and click generate we can machine the upper of the part like this If you want to extend the tool pads, now the 50% of the tool is uh, outside of the boundary. If you want to access, you use stock and uh, dots minus dots 5 inks and click generate. The tool, uh, hundreds percent of the tool uh, is outside of the periphery now. Uh, if you want uh, to make multiple passes, you use this cut levels. If you use cost constant, zero, three and click generate you can see that it makes uh, dot zero three dot zero three dot zero three and uh, it uh, machines the left meter left material it uh, at one pass but if you choose user defined the common uh, dot zero three minimum dot zero one distance from top zero one last cut level the floor level dot zero one okay and generates look what it's doing it makes the first Pass at zero uh, dot zero one, and it makes other uh, passes between these values, 
and makes the last uh, pass at dot o one. Okay, you can change it like this. Let's do the rest. We will machine this site. Create operation and our mill. Curves tool side outside when choosing this at new sets curves tool side inside plane specify this okay and specify floor the floor follow periphery and click generate tool is uh, the, tool, the tool diameter is very large and we change the tool if we want multiple passes we use this common value okay this face planar mill we can use face because this is just one face. Tool side inside plane. This plane. Okay. And floor. This floor. Okay. Hollow periphery. Dot one. Okay. And generate. Okay, let's look at the simulation. You can see the simulation. Okay. Now the other parts. Again, specify part boundaries, curves, outside tangent curves, at new sets, closed, inside, this, okay. We forgot to select the plane. The upper plane is this. And the lower floor is this. Hello, periphery dot one and click generate. Okay. I will not do this packets not to lose time. I will just do this uh, packets because it's a little hard. First, um, we will use the uh, curves inside and we'll choose it and tangent curves and this plane specify. Okay. We will choose the floor or the floor. Hollow periphery. That's one. Okay, and generate. You can see that uh, it is now outward. We can choose inwards, and still it is actually outward. You must change this member one for on and click generate again but you can see that the tool uh, doesn't cut this side okay let's change 
the stock custom member that the stock minus dot one okay and generate but still there is an uncut area but if we uh, if we increase the this value there will be problems as you can see tool moves uh, in the corner of the members so we will create sketch for this scenario this scenario okay profile that's one no one inch okay two inch no two inches too much one inch okay We'll find the middle and quick trim and miracle. Okay, click. Okay, we created this sketch. Finish. And we will choose for that. We will use this sketch. Single curve closed inside plane. Single curve. Choose it. Choose. Choose. Tangent curve. Okay. and this okay these are member one and member two okay floor is that and click generate now it cuts very well mill one okay it is cutting very well but it still makes an outward move it's, it doesn't invert we choose invert but it still uh, it still use outward what will we will do now we will change member one to on and member two, two to on and click generate but there is air moves here so we will choose stock and dot, one, uh, dot five stock and dot five okay and generate <coughs> now as you can see uh, we can we um, play with toolpads using lines or phases, but uh, it lasts. Uh, it it takes too much too uh, much time to create toolpads. You can use this uh, fuller and wall with IPW. Uh, it will be a better choice. Uh, but uh, in very it is very traditional use actually planar mill so uh, you will have to use it in your machine shops it is all for planar milling uh, you can find the links of the parts 
at description. Uh, if you have questions, please ask me on comments. Thank you for watching.